Well, it's time now for a health report. And joining us is Africa 54, Africa 54 health correspondent Lino Madu with a look at tuberculosis. Well, the World Health Organization says tuberculosis is now the world's leading infectious killer, topping HIV AIDS. VOA's Carol Pearson reports that the WHO says we need more aggressive efforts to curb the epidemic. Tuberculosis is an infectious disease that mainly affects the poor, and those who have it are often stigmatized. The World Health Organization considers TB an epidemic. WHO is looking for an infusion of close to $3 billion for research into new drugs, new diagnostic tools, and better surveillance so those with the disease can be treated. Since 1990, the death rate from TB has fallen by nearly 50 percent, but the WHO says more progress must be made. You cannot accept 4,400 people dying every day of a curable disease. Tuberculosis is 90 percent curable, unless it's a strain that is multi-drug resistant. Only about half of the people who suffer from that strain survive. Some doctors compare it to the deadly Ebola virus, only more easily transmitted. Multi-drug resistant tuberculosis, MDR TB, is like Ebola with wings because it has the same risk of transmission to other people. It can be transmitted even just by coughing in the air, in, a, in the train, in the church, in a bar, in a hospital. So it's, it's, a, it's a serious threat. Starting in January of 2016, the WHO will launch an effort to end TB. Those involved in this effort believe it can happen. That 47 percent drop in deaths from TB is from hard work. It didn't just kind of happen. Uh, and what it has told us is that indeed hard work does reflect itself in a drop in new infections and we need to do more in more places and sustain that effort everywhere. Goosby says the world is beginning to understand the severity of the TB threat. As it does, the WHO hopes support for efforts to end the disease will increase. <coughs> Carol Pearson, VOA News, Washington. Joining us now live via Skype from Boston, Massachusetts is Dr. Joya Mukherjee, Chief Medical Officer with Partners in Health, a U.S.-based organization that aims to bring the benefits of modern medical science to those most in need of them. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Joyas. Now, Thank you for having me. Looking at the report, uh, clearly there's reason for concern there, right? Absolutely. Um, I'm you know, glad that they've highlighted that there was some success in dropping the rates of tuberculosis. But the death rate of tuberculosis is too high. The amount of tuberculosis, the ongoing spread of tuberculosis is too high. And it remains the number one killer of adults in sub-Saharan Africa and in many other places of the world, particularly in Asia. And so we've done not enough to control the spread of tuberculosis and to treat the sick who have tuberculosis. But when we look at the impact that HIV AIDS has uh, on tuberculosis, it's clearly a reason why uh, there is uh, so much more um, death. Yes and no. I would say the fact is for many years, HIV was a, a, not, a larger killer of adults than tuberculosis. But global activism that created huge new streams of funding, most notably the Global Fund to Fight AIDS, TB, and Malaria, and later bilateral programs such as the U.S. Uh, PEPFAR program, were really targeted uh, toward HIV, not toward TB. TB was kind of a secondary issue. And it's the activists, most of them people living with HIV, who stood up and said, enough is enough. We need to massively scale up treatment to HIV. That activism never was there for TB. And TB sufferers, those who live with TB, have never had a set of new diagnostics until very recently, and still it's not good enough. The treatment of complex forms of tuberculosis, whether it's drug resistant or tuberculosis in the brain and in the, in the spinal fluid, these are really relegated as kind of secondary problems. When we look at treating TB, it should be all TB all the time, everywhere. And that needs to be driven by real activism and the idea that we're going to end TB, that we can achieve zero deaths from TB. In most uh, developed countries, nobody dies of TB. 
there is very few cases being transmitted. So we can achieve those goals. It's not that it's impossible. We have a cure. We just need to be much, much more aggressive uh, with approaches to finding cases, treating cases, and keeping cases, people with TB in treatment and care. And the, the report did mention that poverty underlines tuberculosis, and that is absolutely true. And programs to treat tuberculosis need to be linked with things like food and housing. Because if you treat someone with tuberculosis and they have no food, it's very hard to treat the tuberculosis. It's very hard to keep them on therapy if they're hungry and starving. And quickly, in 10 seconds, tell us about the priorities for, for your organization. Our priority is to have zero deaths from tuberculosis. And by zero, we mean aggressive case finding and that every person, no matter what type of TB, resistance sensitive, lung TB or others, gets full treat, treatment, gets the support of community health workers, gets whatever social support they need, and that we really aim to have zero deaths from tuberculosis. We are involved in a multi-country grant to NTB that's looking at bringing new drugs online. We have new diagnostic tools in every country, Partners in Health Works, and so we really aim to strengthen TB treatment control and all of the social factors to have zero deaths from tuberculosis. Dr. Mukherjee, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank and you. And that was Dr. Joya Mukherjee. She is Chief Medical Officer with Partners in Health. That's our Africa Health Report for today. Vincent? Well, you know, thanks. And be sure to watch Lenore Madu's health reports every Tuesday and Thursday right here on Africa 54.